going to try to explain why the blockchain makes sense from an economic point of view, not from a technical point of view. And it, it goes like this, more or less. So imagine that you wanted to build a hotel chain. You want to create a new hotel chain, so you have an idea and you are the founder of a startup. You go look for investors, you get the money, and together with investors, you basically build this company and you start acquiring hotels. So you either build the buildings where the hotels will be, or you buy hotels, or maybe you rent them. Anyway, you are creating the assets on which you build your, your company, right? So this is the traditional way, and this is how most companies have been, have been built in the 20th century. Um, and the ownership of this company is, of course, yours as a founder and the investors, right? There's two parties here. Then something new happens, uh, people invent platforms, and by platforms I mean companies like uh, Uber, Airbnb, um, Amazon, and so on. And the difference is that the founders and the investors, um, they don't build the assets, they onboard the assets. So Uber tells people, why don't you drive your car in spare time and make some extra money? Airbnb says, why don't you rent your room or your house when you're not there and make some extra money and pay your mortgage and so on. And that's a great way for a company to, to scale because if you don't have to buy 100 rooms in a hotel, but you can just you know, have people upload them in your website, that's much, much faster. It's not capital intensive. You can focus your uh, business on, on attracting customers who buy these assets or rent these assets. And so the platforms are very successful. It's a new model um, and it's one of the most successful models we are seeing in the, in the last you know, decade at least. Um, but something is new, right? So now the company is made of founders who had the idea and put the work, investors who put the money and the contacts and their networks. And then you have, let's stay focused on Airbnb now, uh, they have the hosts. Now, what do the hosts bring to the platform? They bring the house, they bring the bricks, you know, the most important asset, I, I would say, in the whole ecosystem. And they bring the work. Uh, so they welcome people, they clean the apartment and they do all the other, you know, many, many, many chores you have to do when you have to welcome guests. So hosts are part of this ecosystem. They're maybe even the most important part in a way. And uh, that's where things break. Because if you look at the ownership in these platforms, it's still in the 20th century's model. It's um, founders and investors. There's no hosts. Hosts do not own at all the, uh, the platform. And I think this is the, the, the weak point, and that's the part which needs to be upgraded, right? Because the interest of the platform is completely misaligned with the interest of the, the network, people who actually use this platform, right? So um, in, in TRIPS, we have this different approach. We, we think that ownership has to go mostly to people who use it, who use the platform. So mostly I would say hosts, and then, of course, founders get a little bit, investors are invited to the table, but not uh, to own the whole thing. So they are part of the investors because the hosts are also investors, the property managers. So maybe basically the industry is investing in the, in the platform and also the guests, because after all, the money comes from the guests, right? Once this is running, all the money comes from the guests. Mm -hmm.